So hello creative designers and welcome on to this tutorial where you just going to learn how to add WooCommerce currency switcher. The switcher that we're going to add today it will be concerned on currency based on location, power pricing on location. And all that you need to do, we need to go to the dashboard, go to here we have the button for the plugin. Don't know how far we have these three options. Remember to select the second option because we're going to install a new plugin. So we select a new plugin. You'll be directed to this page. And all you need to do is you come here and search for price by country for WooCommerce. This is the plugin that we're going to use. It's from Oscar Gary. Uh, you can see it has more than 20,000 active installation. Five star out of 209 of people who have deleted it, uh, who has taking the time and to the plugin you can see the last time it was updated it's just four weeks ago so we need to install the plugin and after you install the plugin the activate button now comes in and we need to activate the plugin let me close this video here and i come back here here we have activated the plugin and you can see we have the call to action button which just tells us just if you walk up and the, the plugin that you're going to use is 2.0, 2.0 and what do you need to know uh, before you start? But don't worry about that, just this minute I'm going to take you step by step on how to set things. The next thing is do you want to allow them to just correct some non-sensitive information for the better production of the plugin? So for me, I will allow them, but if you don't want to allow them, you can select, no, don't bother me again. We just start, we have now the plugin. You can select from here and we have, because we have the, uh, the setting button, or else you can come to WooCommerce, go to where you have the plugin uh, setting, click on the setting. Here you see uh, WooCommerce price, your location is, uh, is required and set. Select here on general and on general scroll here. You need to set some few things. The first thing that you need to do is to select the setting location. Uh, select the country that you're going to sell the uh, the your all the product you have. I'm just going to select a few countries. You can decide to select all here and you have all countries selected, or else you can select. Uh, let me select now. And I add some few, and I add some few countries here. So I select like my country Kenya here, and I have to United States Emirates, United Emirates, United Arab Emirates, and we are also going to have United States of America, USA, United States, United States, and you can have as many country. As you can, and then you come here, and you need to set this country that you're going to uh, ship to. Ship to all country. I want to ship to specific country. I want to also ship to the country I've just selected here, United Arab Emirates. And you have the United States. It's here with that. Now here we have default customer location select geolocate with that the next thing you need to do is you save the setting here you can see we have you can select the country currency you just want to be the default but here i'm just going to use the kenya shillings as my default money used in this website so we just start now we have now the zone pricing click zone pricing here you have now price based on uh, currency bidding country or uh, currency uh, customer shipping country it's all about you but I want to say like let me select billing country and we have the shipping you can apply the exchange rate to shipping cost you can also toll not bad and we have the kitchen for support and I want to say that it will be good and I save the setting. We just start now. We need to go to price zone. With the price zone now here, we need to add some few zones. The first zone should be Kenya and it's called our zone one is our country. And we say Kenya like that. Choose country and I select Kenya and currency. It's what? Shillings. 
After that now, we need to add a new zone. I'm just going to call it United UAE. And I select the country as United Arab Emirates. And here I come to select uh, the currency they're using. It's called Dirham. And I say, we have not set our exchange rate manually. So you come here and search for currency converter. Here we have the Kenya shillings. And here we have to set now the Dirham. So we set for the dirham. Yeah, here you have the UAE dirham, and you select it. I just convert it for you, and you just have to copy this one like this. Copy it like that. Come here, and we say one Kenya shilling is equals to 0 0.3 dirham, and we save the changes. With that now we add our final. With that now we have to add our final our currency, and we say. USA like that and you select the country as United States and you select the country called uh, the country shillings is US dollar United States dollar here and you come here and search for United States United States dollar and have the conversion rate is 0 0.0093 you can see how the dollar is strong we copy this and we just come here and say one can shillings equals to that amount of United State Dora. You can add as many uh, as many zones and as many currencies as you can. Just that now we have our currency. So what you need to do, we need to have it on our shop page. Here you see here we have the currency for United States Arab. And don't see that you see it just changes and we just come to United States, it also need to change like that and you can see if I take this one here and I just select like this one here it's on Dora and I select like that and I have to cut and I have to cut like that go to shop let's continue to view the cut you can see just for Dora so let's go back here and convert the currency to Kenya shillings which is equivalent to almost 400 bob like that when you change come back to even do the card and you can see how much it will cost it two dollars and just that uh, it's 252 to kenya shillings let's see how we could add this card here let me just get back to shop let's go back to shop and see how it was added here so all you just need to for, to do for you to add it here, just need to go to the dashboard menu, scroll to appearance and select widget. You can here remove it, we delete it like that. You can see it from the sidebar one and we just start to refresh the page here and it is just gone. So what you just need to do is you come here and search for currency. Switch us. let me just take it like that and I drop it like that. Fold it for the country and it says switch currency, select, select currency like that and you save the changes. And just that you have it now back here on the sidebar. I only need to just select the country your she in it does the less for you that's how you can set you that's how you can be able to set price by location to your e-commerce website to offer free without using any coin my name is peter and i hope the tutorial was of great help you of great help to you remember to hit the subscribe button to the new visitor to this youtube channel hit the thumbs up and you'll be blessed thank you and till next time I appreciate this. Thank you. Come again.